Hello everybody, I'm Chris Provost, and you're watching Provost Park Pass, and today in Provost Park Pass, I'm gonna do a secrets revealed video of an attraction you probably don't know anything of. I'm right here in the Esplanade. There's Disneyland right over there. There's Disney California Adventure over there. Let's go do this attraction that you probably walked by hundreds of times and you know nothing about. Let's do this. Oh, by the way, it's in Disney California Adventure. Here we are in beautiful Buena Vista Street. We have to head down to Cars Land. All right, so I can either walk straight down or I can go through Hollywood Studios and cut through Avengers Campus. And that's the way I'm gonna go. Here we are turning down to Hollywood Studios. I'll take us into Avengers Campus and then into Cars Land. Before we get started in today's video, I just wanna say this. It is um, very warm. Hi, how are you? Um, it is very warm. It's 77 degrees here in Anaheim. Gorgeous weather, not a breeze, no breeze. So, and it feels a little bit humid today, a little bit humid. And also, before we get started in the video, I just wanna say this. Did you know if you want to, you can become a Patreon of Provost Park Test. Anyway, what's a Patreon? Patreon is if you like our channel, you wanna support our channel, there's a link down in the description down below. And for $3 a month, for $3 a month, you will get your name on the end card. You'll see your name scroll by. And also every Sunday night, I do an extra video just for our Patreon members. So you get those uh, extra video. If you want to do that, you can uh, become a Patreon member, which is right down below. All right, let's go into Cars Land. Here we are entering into Cars Land, one of the best lands. And today guys, we're gonna do Secrets of Revealed of Luigi's Rollick and Roadsters. Let's do this. This is a really fun attraction. Kids love it. Now you'll notice right now there are 13 cars on the dance floor, and they are. It's under the dance floor, having a little dancing uh, parade uh, party. There could be up to 18 cars. The m smallest amount of cars they have on it is eight. So for every day it varies how many cars they actually have out here on the dance floor. Right now they have eight, and each one dances differently. They have their own little dance, and uh, they're going along. Sometimes your car, see that one right in the center, is gonna go right out there in the center. You never know which car you're gonna get. It'll be out in the center or, or out in the outskirts going along. Each one has their own personality and dances their own little way. And during the holidays, they have Christmas music, but normally there are five different songs they do. Right now they're doing the holiday versions. And here they are. Now these cars are electric. You see there's little charging plates underneath them. There's a little, little right there, they're little charging plates. And when they, there's a charging plate right there. And while they're sitting here waiting, they're charging them back up. The type of car is called a frizzante. That is a made up car that Disney made up. There's no, such, there's no real car of frizzante. It's just made up here for uh, this particular attraction. Now I want you to remember, we have this coral car and this yellow car right here by us. At the end of this particular dance number, we'll have different cars here. They always end up in different places. And there they go, they're off, they're dancing. You'll notice that some of the cars are boys, they have mustaches, and the girls' cars don't. See, look, these are all boy cars with mustaches, and there's a female car with no mustache. That car in the yellow is out in the center. It's, it's got the center floor. And these ones are dancing on the outside. And you listen, you can hear a little car, the heart, the horns go. Here they are dancing at the end. Some are a little more crazy dancers and some are a little bit, uh, a little more reserved. Just like real people, I guess. Just like real people. All right, they're spinning, big finish. Let's see if any of them, they're backing in. There you go. And now they're backed in. Then these ones are be charging. Now right now when the cars are just sitting there not moving, they are downloading their coordinates. It's done through GPS. A lot of times people think it's like oh, the giant magnets underneath dragging them around. No, 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 it's done by GPS. Every time the cars stop, they download the coordinates and it lets that car know, lets that car to know where it needs to go to dance. So right now it's downloading GPS, and once it's all ready to go, then the cars start dancing. And every time it downloads new routes, no magnets underneath, it's literally through GPS. Somebody's ears fell off, so the ride got delayed. Make sure you keep your ears on, yeah. 
It happens though. Now when the ride first opened, it was called Luigi's Flying Tires. And it was a throwback to a uh, Tomorrowland, uh, Tomorrowland attraction from the 1961 to 1965, I think it was 66. They had like these flying saucers and they would be lifted by air and you kind of lean and they kind of float around. Well, they brought that over here and for three years they had this uh, Luigi's Flying Tires. I rode it, it wasn't really that, it didn't work really well. So you get in the car and you're supposed to like lean and the car uh, blowing lots of air underneath it and you like kind of levitate it off the ground. And as you lean, the car would like float this way. Then you lean, the car would like float this way. It really ended up just being the car would just kind of slowly move wherever it was going and you couldn't really control it. But what was really fun though, when they first opened the ride, the first couple months, they had these big, huge giant beach balls on there with uh, Italian colors. They had red, uh, white, and uh, green Italian beach balls. And they had their, and their cars would bump into them and you could throw them to the other, other cars. That was really fun. They only had that for a few months. And then uh, after a while, people, this, it wasn't that exciting. So they ended up scrapping it, got, got rid of that ride. And then this ride became very important. This ride's very important to Disney Imagineers because they did something here that was a first. So what's the story here? What's going on with these rollicking roadsters? And what is a roadster? A roadster, by the way, is a two-seater car with like, uh, take the top down and go for like a little Sunday drive. That's a roadster. What is the story going on here at Luigi's? They are celebrating the big race day at Radiator Springs, Lightning McQueen. They're having this big, huge party of the race. So they're coming here and having a big dance party. These are all Luigi's cousins who come in from Italy to dance and have this big party here for the race day. Now, why was this such a big, huge feat for Disney Imagineers and why is it so important? It's because it was the very first trackless attraction. Trackless, hi! It was the very first trackless attraction here in North America. No track, moving along. It was a massive feat. Now, there are six trackless attractions in North America. You guys know what they are, so you could name them. Luigi's, then you've got uh, Rise of Resistance in Disneyland, Rise of Resistance in Orlando, then you've got uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway here, and Mickey and Minnie Runaway in Orlando, and Ratatouille at Epcot. Those are the six trackless attractions in all of North America, but this was the first one. Now, what are they doing? They're dancing. They're dancing, cars dancing. And Luigi knew that they were gonna be dancing a lot, so he ordered special tires for them to dance. Do you know what those tires are? The Danza tires, because they're dancing. Dancing tire, Danza, like music to your gears. Here's another boat, Danza, Fettuccine Alfredo, dancing tire. Dancing, a tire, a tire. Which reminds me, what's the difference between a world? Oh, hey, my God, are you? There it is. There's lightning. Which reminds me, what's the difference between a well dressed man on a bicycle and a poor dressed man on a unicycle? A tire. <laughs> All right, so what are the rules here? Well, here at Luigi's Wallach and Roasters, you have to be at least 32 inches tall. It's not too bad. Um, and children seven to 14 need to have an adult with them. And you have to meet the minimum height required. Uh, Luigi's Wallach and Roasters, your vehicle will move forwards, backwards, sideways, and spin in unpredictable manners. By the way, Luigi is like a Fiat 500. But his cousins, those are all these made up cars. It's the. the Zante. But Luigi really is a Fiat 500. Some people say that the ride's more cute to look at the outside than actually going on the attraction. I don't know about that. It is very Instagram worthy. But part of the really cool part of the attraction is going inside and waiting through the line. Take your time to look at everything in there because there's so much to look at. Let's do it. Now, right outside the building, they have a stroller parking, but it's also got some cool posters you want to take a look at. Luigi sells only the best types of tires. Now, what does he sell? Fettuccine, the Showstopper, the Glamour Grip, the Safety Treads, the Tortellini, the Glidewell, and Lightyear Radials. Now, you need to remember those because when we go inside, we'll see all of them. Luigi knows what makes, knows what you want. I love that. And then right next to this, they have a little air thing where you go here, you're gonna inflate your tire inflator. Just, it's just for show, but it's kind of fun. You can twist that little crank if you want to. It doesn't do anything, but it's kind of fun to do. The Eco Tire Fleeter. 
And then also at Luigi's Casa Della Tires, at Ornament Valley's exclusive fettuccine distributor. They're the only ones that could sell fettuccine tires. And right outside here we are at Luigi's Casa Del Tire. And you'll notice that this is green, white, and red. That's because that's the color of Italy, because he loves Italy. And then also, that in the nighttime, I think you'll show that. That's green, that is white, and that is red right down there, because, you know, Italy, his heritage. Notice here at nighttime, it's really lit up. You've got green, white, and red. Green, white, and red. Why? Well, that's the Italian flag color, green, white, and red, because they're from Italy. And if you also notice right there on the neon, it's green, white, and red for the Italian flag. And if you look at the on the roof there, they got all the tires and they've got the neon lighting on it. And it looks so cool. Love it. And you're gonna notice you got right here you have the leaning tower of the leaning tower of peas, I guess, or tires, whatever. They decorate it periodically for the holidays. Right now it's decorated for Christmas, the holidays, but during Halloween they do Halloween. And the uh, rest of the year just kind of like looks really cool, like a leaning tower of pizza. As you enter in. It is, it's just cool. You want to look at all the details. There's a lot going on here. You can see a bunch of tires, a bunch of posters. I'm gonna take my time and show you everything we can. This is the Glidewell tire. This is the, the member that the exclusive Fettuccine tire sailor. And there's the Glamour Grip. Then you can see right over here, these are the posters, of course. These looks like they're Italian racers because you know, he loves Italy. Ferrari, 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 yeah. And there's the Tokyo. And then of course you got tires by Tortellini right up here. The Glidewell steel belted safety treads. Then down here we got tread star, another type of tread star, and light year radials. Of course, that is an homage to Buzz Lightyear. In fact, Lightning McQueen's number is 95 because that was a year that Toy Story came out. Pixar's first full-length feature animated film. Uh, came out in 1995, so Lightning Queen's number is 95. So you can look here, they got, oh, there's a showstopper right up there. Okay, check out all these different little tires. But what you wanna look at here is you wanna look at, these are called the white walls. Now, I don't really, this is way before my time, but I think at one point, this was a big deal. People would have tires and they'd have these white tires. You wanna keep them on your car to look really cool. I think they did that in the 1950s, I guess. And it was like kind of a sign of like, ooh la la, like I have a really cool, look at that, I got white walls. You wanna keep them really clean and ch -ch 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 keep them all nice and, nice and neat. So they got fettuccine Alfredo white walls. And you can see that all wrapped, they keep them all nice and pristine because you don't wanna get them dirty. Now, what is this? This is a car shop, a tire shop specifically. It's where cars come to get you tires. So you gotta look at some of these cool details. You'll notice that the, the doors are actually, look like I have a garage door track up there and right over there. So that can open up as a garage door. And down here is where they would elevate the car so the car will raise up. And that's the little, so I put the new tires on. And right there, that's the little pedal that they drove, drive over to raise up the lift for the tires. And there's Danza Dancy Tires. And that's where Luigi is from. It's called Carsoli, Italy. So you know, it's a little fictitious town, Carsoli. And if you notice that all uh, his cousins, and they're, when they're dancing, their license plates all say Carsoli on them. Now, there are four billboards here. We want to talk about each of these different billboards. These are the four things that Luigi loves the very most. Right here, this is all about Italy. Italy, 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 because he's from Italy. See his academy here, he got his academy award, and, uh, his diploma. I bet you that's his dad, maybe. And you see all the different races here. All of this here has to do with Italy because, of course, you've got, looks like a menu, yes. It's food so important in Italy, right there, Carsoli, where he's from. And then the next one, the next window you see, this is Radiator Springs, I mean, Ornament Valley. This is because this is where his home is now and he loves it here. And so we've got a whole, has a whole new little area here that he, uh, he is dedicated to Ornament Valley. But if you look right up there, it says, to Luigi and Guido, thanks for all, thanks to the new white walls, John Lassiter. That is John Lassiter who used to work at Pixar. So look at all these cool things here. All about, this is all about Ornament Valley. They even have the, like the grand reopening, the wheel well. You look underneath real quickly, can you see the little teeny tiny uh, 
gas pumps under there. Yep. Awesome. And our next one here, this is all about Lightning McQueen because he loves Lightning McQueen. Big fan. And uh, this was all dedicated to Lightning McQueen. And you notice my, one of my favorite little details right here is a hidden Mickey. He's wearing Mickey ears, but that's not the best hidden Mickey here, guys. I'll show you that later on. These are all the different tracks that he's raced on. Los Angeles, Dynaco, Motor Speedway, and a carburetor. And you see it right there on a tire, he signed it. Fastest pit stop ever, Lightning McQueen. Right there. So this is all dedicated right here to everything here is for Lightning McQueen. And then here is for the world race because you know he's a big fan of the world, the world Grand Prix. And these are all around the world. You got Egypt, the Seven Gears War, all these different things over here. Paris, uh, what is this? Uh, pipe shop that's like looks like Scotland. Tokyo, England, Japan, all around the world, places he's probably been or seen or visited. And uh, yeah, he loves that. And this is his office. Of course, you see a Ferrari right there. And then map of Italy, because he loves Italy. He's from Italy. And you see like, his nice little office. Got some oil there. So cool. Automotive table of elements. Now, off time you come here, they don't have this wine open, but if you ask them, the cast members sometimes will let you go there, so you take pictures. And this here is a little area where you can see the mirror. Oh, look at those, look at those, uh, yeah. This is like the ride, the radius of racers. If you get your tires changed, you get to come in and see where you're, let's get to see these mirrors and see the new tires that you have on. Back in the day, when you used to go get your shoes, new shoes, they had a little wood contraption you put your foot in it and measure how big your, shoe, your foot is so you know what size of shoe to get. Well, look, they have that here for tires. See, it's a little measure for your tires. <laughs> I love that. Now, if you want to get new cards, how do you pay for them? With the Crater card. It looks like he's a loyal or of the lug nuts. All right, so you know you get olive oil, you get olive oil, you get extra virgin olive oil. Check this out. Extra virgin Italian mortar oil. <laughs> okay, so there is a hidden Mickey, and it's very hard to see. It's hard to get a picture of. I'll try my best, but it's on those rims over there. And once I get close enough, I'll try to get close to you. It's very tiny. It's on the lug nuts there, and you can see the hidden Mickey on it. Once I get close, I'll try to show it to you. Now, as you come to the very back, you need to look at this giant wall. There's a great facade. You got tires up there. It's amazing. As you wait to the line, look at this little topiary. It's a race car. Looks like a like one of those Italian race cars. And it, what was that a Formula One race car? It's the Rollickin' Roadsters, featuring our cousins from Carsley. Now, I've heard some people say that that's a hidden Mickey, the three umbrellas that this cast member stand in Erickson. It's like, but I think it's more of a wishful Mickey, not a true one. Notice the trees, the planters, or what? Tires. Look at the different types of tires. And this is just a giant, like, tractor tire. Another tire like that. Okay. As you wait to go in, you see it says, like, fettuccine latte, fettuccine crema, blanco maximo. I don't know what that Espresso, probably. While you're waiting, like, if you look over here, they have this nice little garden area. They're like tires. Uh, like, they're, like, look at that. It's, it's an amazing little area. You can't go back there. That's not an area to go back, but you just kind of enjoy it and see how cool it looks. All right, I'm going to try to get that hidden Mickey on the rim, but it's hard to get. We'll see if I get it. And it is. It's espresso right there. But well, this is the garden I was telling you about right over here. Look how pretty Listen it is. It's very nice. And, we will and then right over here is where the Mickeys are. I'll see if I can get over there and find you that hidden your Mickey. Safety, fasten your seat. Whenever I get on a ride like this, I don't know what it is. The second the gate opens up, I feel this 
almost uncontrolled the urge to run to my car. And, I mean, if you're in line, everybody's gonna get a car, right? But I feel like this urge, like, I gotta run, I gotta run. I wanna get the car I want, I wanna get the color I want. Do you guys feel that way too? Is that just me? If you're in line, you're gonna get a car, you don't have to run to it. See all the cars right now, they're all waiting. Now see that coral car right over there. That coral car actually is a twin. There is another coral car that's like identical to that because they all have their own little paint jobs. They're all different painted, all right? Except the coral car and her twin is not out dancing right now, but she's the only one that is identical. But you'll notice they all, they're all they different little paint jobs. There's something different about them. Like some of them have like a luggage case on the back or a suitcase rack, or they have like racing stripes on them. So they're all somehow different and unique because you know, they're individuals. So the next time you're here, look and see they have both twins out, the coral cars out. And there they are, they're dancing. And uh, yeah, fun little ride. Kids like this ride. Oh, you see the two cars in the center, they're twirling around while everybody dance around them. You always, you never know which cars are gonna be in the center. That's, that's the best, is get a car that goes into the center. But it's random, so you never know if you're gonna get that or not. All right, I'm gonna walk over here to the car. So I want to see that hidden Mickey. It's right over here. Let's see if I can find it. Where is it? Oh no, oh no. I can't find it, guys. You might have to pause it and see if you can see it. Oh, there it is. See how it's missing the lug nuts? There's the hidden Mickey. And I get an orange car, which is sweet. We got the hidden Mickey, you see it? It's on the bottom row, there's 11 license, 11 rims. It's the one in the center. So after five, yep, you bet right here. Thank you. So there's five this way and then five this way. It's one right in the center. And there, you'll notice that it's missing the two lug nuts and then the center making it a hidden Mickey. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's, uh, let's see, let's go do our little dance. That's kind of the car I wanted, the one with the little luggage rack. I think that's cute, but we're going for it. I got my favorite color, orange. So we're good to go. You'll notice that looking this way, you can't see the eyes of the car. You can see perfectly through, but if people looking this way, they see eyes of the car. Oh, we're going. It's, it's a little herky jerky. <laughs> there we go. They're dancing. Hey, you should dance and clap on this. We're, we're dancing, having a, we're having some fun. <laughs> it's a party. You got, oh, you're gonna dance. Clap! There we go. Nice. Oh. Yes. Oh, it's super fun. This is a great little attraction for children. Now it is a little herky jerky. Be aware of that. It's not the smoothest ride, but kids are gonna love it. And you're gonna tell them they're driving and having fun. <laughs> oh my gosh! Ah. I'm in the center. We're getting a little, little whiplash. <laughs> it's way more jerky than I remember it. It's been a while since I've been on this. Ah, oh, that's a good time. <laughs> oh! Yeah, perfect little ride, perfect little ride. It's usually about a 30 minute wait though, just be aware, 30 minute wait, but it is, little kids are gonna like it. They'll love it. It's actually more fun almost to watch it because then you can see it, take pictures. And so if you don't want to ride it, send your family on it, take pictures of them. Oh my gosh, here comes Red. <laughs> there he is, Good little wave. He's shy, but he wears a hard worker. Also, be sure to check it out at nighttime because it's so pretty at nighttime. All right, um, I want to just take a quick little moment here. And I want to talk to you. And I am talking to you. Those, his cousins, they're all unique and kind of cool and fun like that, but you are unique. You are special and you make the world better. And I don't know if you hear that enough. Sometimes I feel the world's a little unhinged and maybe there's so much negativity and sometimes we, it's just easier for people to be negative, I guess. I don't really know exactly what's going on. But I want to just take this moment to tell you, and I am talking to you, that you are amazing. 
You make the world better by being here. And don't you forget it. I know that you might be going through some troubles and maybe maybe a, a, having job difficulties or even relationship difficulties, or maybe you're just, you don't even know. But I just want you to know things do get better. And I'm glad that you're here watching this video because I feel like we're friends and I appreciate your time. And I want you to know how awesome you are. All right, let's continue on with the video. Now, when you come outside, look at this. You got little tire potter plants and these are like brick lights coming out of the flowers. And they light up in the evenings too, but look how cool that is. I love it. I just, a cast member just told me something crazy. You guys have to know this. Okay, see right here, this car right here, this spot right here. When you come out, whatever car is sitting in that spot, that's gonna be in the spotlight card. It's gonna dance in the center. So if, so if you do want that spotlight card to dance in the center, you get this one right here, right here. It makes like a row, like one, two, three rows. It's the second row, the one that's very far back. That card is guaranteed to take you to the center. Remember, I think it was orange. Let's see if it goes. Yeah. There it is, see? There it is, that orange car. It was right there. And there it is, it's the spotlight. So now you know, if you wanna get that spotlight car, how, you have to come get that car right there. And it's gonna be a different car. It's not always the orange one. It's whatever one is parked right there. Okay, so next time this car is going to be the spotlight car. It'll be dancing in the center. See, I was like one row, two, three rows. This car at the very back. I think this is hilarious. Technically, the ride could operate with just one car out there. They could do it. It'll never happen. But how, can you imagine? Would it be fun? You're the only car out there, just dancing. Everybody's just watching you. It would be kind of fun. I think it'd be kind of fun. I don't know, I just I just think it's awesome. Hey, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. And I'll see you in our next videos. You guys are awesome. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I just showed you where I think one of the coolest hidden Mickeys is. Uh, 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 it's on that rim in the center. And it's really cool because it's missing two lug nuts. It makes it Mickey ears. I love it. And now you know which car to get in if you want to be the car in the spotlight dance. Do, 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 do.